What's up guys, welcome to the GC journey. The drive-by-wire intake manifold I sent to get power decoded has come back, but things have been moving a bit slow with the car, so I thought in order to save time in this episode, I would start assembling the intake manifold, TGV deletes, fuel rails, fuel lines, fuel pressure regulator, and throttle body. So let's get to it. Just to give you some idea, my original plan was to have the car ready by end of November, 2021, but uh, we're now well into January, 2022. So as you know, with project cars, uh, not everything goes according to plan, but hopefully next week we're taking the motor out and motor, what? We're taking the engine out and um, we're going to start building the heads. So I thought in order to save time, you know, I'll do whatever I can from my side uh, to help speed things up. Now, uh, I don't have a cool garage or any fancy tools. I'm just working from my home studio where I film auditions um, and I have a few simple tools. So I hope I don't damage anything that will end up costing me even more. But, um, you know, we'll do it together step by step and it'll be okay. I thought while I'm at it, I'll also do the fuel injectors, which I forgot to mention. So uh, I think we'll start with that and we'll move on from there. I started with assembling the injectors. For this job, I used the IAG TGV deletes, IAG fuel rails, vibrant performance fittings, ID1050X injectors, and a couple of tools. IAG supplies spacers and very easy to follow instructions on their website. So I first prepared the spacers in the fuel rail. I then gave a very light dab of oil to the injector O-rings, seated them in the TGVs and installed the fuel rail over them. Gave the vibrant performance fittings a light dab of oil as well and screwed them into place. I don't really know if the oil was necessary, but I did it anyway. Cleaned the excess oil off and repeated the process on the other side. Next, it was time to prepare the TGVs to attach to the intake manifold. So, new OEM studs were screwed into place and of course, new gaskets were used. Once the intake manifold was seated into place, it was time to bolt everything together. For this, brand new shiny bolts and nuts from Subaru were used. As you can tell, I like new and shiny OEM parts. Next was the throttle body. Again, new gasket and bolts were used for this job. Not very exciting, but very satisfying. Fuel lab, fuel pressure regulator, another simple job. Just wanted to get it as leveled as possible. Fuel rails took a bit of playing around with since they did not come with instructions and I'm no mechanic, but after a bit of fiddling about, I managed to find the proper way to get them all together. So here we have the feed, which splits into two. The return line exits from under the fuel pressure regulator. One side leaves the Y pipe, feeds the rail and returns to the regulator. The other side leaves the Y pipe, goes all the way to the rail, leaves the rail and returns to the regulator. To complete the final piece of the puzzle was this beautiful coolant header tank from Illuminati. It also comes with brand new shiny bolts. To finish it all off is this 1.3 bar cap from Radium Engineering. So that's all for this episode. I'm extremely happy with how everything came out. I can't stop looking at all these parts, even, even the OEM, you know, shiny new bolts. Uh, I'm, very, very happy, and other than that, probably next episode you'll see the engine coming out, we'll disassemble the heads, start uh, taking measurements and building them. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.